Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're in Pure Land Center and Japanese Garden. It feels surreal and it feels very magical being here. The reason I say this is because different areas are designed in very different ways. You have stone gardens, you have little little ponds, little waterfalls, and each and every area forms a garden in itself. It's the fine example of Japanese craftsmanship in terms of gardening, but also, also it feels very spiritual over here. There are many areas where you can sit down, contemplate, and even meditate as well. The building, or should I say the creation of the garden, began in 1980 when two acres of flat land were transformed into the magnificent Japanese garden you're about to see. Before we go to the gardens, there is one truly unique place to see. That is the world's first crystal garden, which was opened on 12th of May 2013. All of this incredible beauty was built by Maitreya, a very inspirational Zen practitioner from Japan. Maitreya says, the essence of crystal garden is for spiritual inspiration, to bring awareness of the beauty of life and the miracle of creation. When we're aware of life, which all creation is, we realize the truth of ourself. The entire garden is broken into different zones, many of which have a small statue of Buddha or a group of stones lovingly put together. visited many places, we have visited many gardens, but I have never seen anything quite like this. A separate little shrine, little area for meditation. There is even a pond with beautiful carps in it. It is infinitely picturesque. It's incredible how much variety and beauty could be achieved on such a small territory. It doesn't feel like a garden. It feels more like a living temple. The main purpose of a garden in Japanese culture is to unite the man and nature. The main features of a Japanese garden are the usage of materials in miniature format and usage of stones as creative element rather than a building block. That is why you see many tiny paths, 
tiny ponds and tiny bridges in Japanese gardens. When you walk those paths, you feel balanced and in harmony with yourself. It certainly felt that we're in a different world here. Thank you very much for watching this piece. I hope you enjoyed the atmosphere of this wonderful garden and I thoroughly encourage you to visit this beautiful, beautiful place. So until next week, next Thursday, 7 o'clock in the evening, British Standard Time. Bye-bye.